Hey, it's Robert with your Tipsy Tuesday Tips, okay? So I've got two things for you today that's going to greatly help you out if you do a lot of driving, maybe you do you know, hours a day behind the computer, uh, a lot of data entry, things like that. This is going to help you to relieve tension in your pectorals, okay, which is the area that's normally going to get tight if you're in that kind of typing position, and then also within the muscles in the hand here, okay, especially the base of the palm. Um, when these muscles here get very tight, when these tendons through here get inflamed, that's usually when you get to that carpal tunnel state, okay? So if you're currently experiencing some of that or if you want to prevent that, these would be great things for you to incorporate. Same thing with the upper body. Um, you don't want to start getting carthotic. We want to try to make it so that it's easier for you to keep a more erect posture because, of course, if these muscles are tight and constantly pulling you down, it's going to be hard for you to stay upright, okay? Um, so for the pectorals, so you've got the tennis ball. You're going to do this up against the wall, okay? Um, you've got it right into the meaty part here of the pectorals. Arm is going to be at about a 90-degree angle. And then from there, you're moving your body around, okay, leaning your body weight into the wall in order to create tension through there. You want to do this for about 30 to 45 seconds. That should be plenty. With the hand, you're actually going to do this on top of like a table, a desk, you know, something like that. Something that's dense and uh, very sturdy so it can actually take in your body weight. But essentially, we're going right into the fleshy part of the hand there. We're keeping the hand as relaxed as we can. There, pushing into it, looking for those tighter areas. Okay, areas. Um, you know, once again, with the typing and things like that, driving, um, you're going to get a lot of tension through there. The more you keep that tension at bay, the less likely you're going to end up getting into pain, inflammation, which of course can lead to other things. Remember, if ever fit, we're more about the prevention than anything. But of course, if you're in pain, you definitely want to reverse it as soon as possible. All right, so that's Robert with your Tipsy Tuesday tip. Stay tuned for next week um, for more stuff that's going to help you out with your everyday life. Okay, make sure you like the video if you like it and uh, leave a comment below.